Melinda and Shobo are going to demonstrate a technique that is extremely helpful for the pacey gated horse. And that's working them over cavaletti. Those poles don't have to be very long or high. If the poles are 10 foot long, 10 or 12 foot long, and one and a half times the length of your horse's body, which is usually 10 to 12 feet apart, um, the horse is going to ha has several effects on the horse. The first is that the horse is naturally going to look down to take care of its feet as it comes into the cavaletti. When it looks down, it's rounding up its back. The rider's half halting to assist in that effort as she comes into the cavaletti. She can push him very, very, very quickly over the cavaletti and he will not pace horse just can't pace over the poles like that. You're reconditioning his muscle memory so that he breaks up the pace even at speed. Now you can do this out in a pasture, you can do it in an arena, there, you, you can use as formal or informal uh, materials, but you'll see how pretty he's starting to lighten up, he's starting to roll from his front shoulders, he's working off his hind end so very nicely. Um, it just changes the horses up in a really short period of time. <laughs> you're going to watch, as you watch, you're going to see him really start to lift and roll in front and reach behind. There's not going to be a lick of pace while he's going over the cavaletti. Now the secret to this is for a really pacey horse, is to half halt as you go into the cavaletti and push him very, very quickly over the cavaletti. Uh, because they can learn that they can go very quickly and keep it broken up. Then only allow them to take two or three steps at speed beyond the cavaletti and then bring them back to a walk so they don't just fall back into pace because you would have basically undone the work that you did through that round of the cavaletti. Over time, when you come to the end of the cavaletti, you're going to be able to take him farther and farther until they aren't pacing at all. But you see here, he tends to want to fall into pace after he's gone through the cavaletti. So we're going to ask Melinda not to allow him to fall to pace. After he's been through the cavaletti, I want you to just walk him and then bring him back into the cavaletti and that's it. And give him a good boy because he did it right. While you have your cavaletti out, another very useful exercise for bending and circling and softening your horse is to work them around the cavaletti in nice long serpentines. Now the reason I like cavaletti sometimes better than cones, though you certainly can use cones for this work, the reason I like the, the cavaletti is because it allows the horse to straighten out in the center of the turn and prepare for the next turn. So that if you have a really slab-sided and pacey type horse, this is the kind of uh, bending and circling that you want to start them out on. You don't want to ask for too much too soon. We'll be showing horses working around cones, but for this kind of a horse, working around the cavaletti for bending and circling is really all the kind of bending and circling you need him to do. And if you have the cavaletti out, you can, you can mix up working over the cavaletti with working around the cavaletti, and then going ahead and working them some on the, on the, on the straight, doing your halts, your half halts, and you're collecting them up and working that walk. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. Very nice. Beautiful head nod. That's why I like to see him nodding down. There's no pacing there. You're doing beautiful.